Welcome back to Talk To Me In Korean. After watching this video lesson, you will understand how to use 가지고 in your Korean sentences. Hi, welcome back. 안녕하세요. 선현우입니다. I'm Hyunwoo from TalkToMeInKorean.com. If you haven't visited our website and have only been studying with our YouTube videos, please take a moment to visit our website at TalkToMeInKorean.com. There you can see many more Korean learning materials, okay? So today we're talking about 가지고. And it comes from the verb 가지다, which is to have. And it is often used in the form 가지고 있다. 가지고 있다 or 갖고 있다, which means to have something in your possession. But today we're not talking about that meaning. We're talking about 가지고 or 아 가지고, 어 가지고, or 해 가지고, which can replace 아서, 어서, or 여서, or 해서. And apparently to many Korean learners who are just starting out, it can sound like 가지고. We've actually gotten the same kind of question or misunderstanding for many people, many different people. So what does 가지고 mean? So I've thought about why it sounds like 가지고 and I think I have some explanation. So 가지고 is the standard form and we have a lesson on 아서, 어서, or 여서 at level 3, lesson 7. I'll link it down below. And it basically means this is the reason, so therefore the result or this is the reason, therefore this is the result. So it's often translated to so, therefore, or you do one action and then do another following action. The following action can be related or maybe it might not be related to the previous action. So that's the general explanation without any sample sentences. Here are some sample sentences. So the standard, more common form in more standard formal Korean is, for example, 아파서 못 왔어요. 아파서 못 왔어요. Where's your friend? 친구는 왜안 왔어요? 아파서 못 왔어요. So this is what you would learn first. And then in casual colloquial conversations, you will also hear 아파 가지고 못 왔어요. 아파 가지고 못 왔어요. This is technically not incorrect. This is correct too, but it sounds automatically more casual and sometimes in certain contexts, depending on how you say it, it sounds like something that a child might say. It's not too formal. So although technically both forms are okay, you can use both, but 서, 서 is more standard. 아파서 못 왔어요. And 아파 가지고 못 왔어요. Um, people often shorten it to 아파 갖고. 아파 갖고 못 왔어요. This is definitely way more casual, way more childlike. So 아파 갖고 못 왔어요. I recommend that you don't say, say it like this in formal settings. So 아파서 못 왔어요. He or she couldn't come here because he or she is sick. 아파서 못 왔어요. It changes to 아파 가지고 못 왔어요. And then 아파 갖고 못 왔어요. And 갖고 or 아파 가지고 this part in again in colloquialism in everyday casual conversations some people actually many people they like to pronounce it as 가지고 or 아파 갖고 to kind of sound a little more cute more casual. So that's why many learners might have heard it as 가지고 가지고 가지고. But it's just definitely incorrect. So it's 서 changing to 가지고 and 갖고. Let me show you some more examples. This puzzle is so difficult that I couldn't solve it. 퍼즐이 너무 어려워서 못 풀었어요. 퍼즐이 너무 어려워서 못 풀었어요. This changes to 퍼즐이 너무 어려워가지고 못 풀었어요. So here, it's okay. 가지고 is absolutely acceptable. But if you change it to 퍼즐이 너무 어려워 갖고 못 풀었어요. This becomes way more casual and uh, I don't recommend that you use it yourself. Okay? Some more examples. When you are listening to a story and then you heard a piece of 
I guess, heard about a piece of development and then you wonder, and then what? And then what happened? So in that case, you can say, 그래서, 그래서, and then what's omitted is, 그래서 어떻게 됐어요? 그래서 그 사람이 뭐라고 했어요? But often people just say, 그래서, or in polite language, 그래서요. But then, in the same meaning, you can say, 그래가지고, in casual speech and in polite language, 그래가지고요, 그래가지고요. Okay, so you see that it, it can replace 서. And then maybe one more example uh, in the meaning of so or therefore. It was so funny, so maybe sometimes you don't you know, want to finish your sentences. So in that case, you can say, 아, 너무 웃겨서. And then whatever is not said is omitted. In that case, you can say, 너무 웃겨가지고 or 너무 웃겨갖고. Okay, summary. You can say so and so, 아, 서, 어, 서, 여, 서 to mean a, therefore, b, but you can replace it with uh, so and so, 가지고, or 갖고, but 갖고, I would recommend that you avoid using it. You can talk about one action and then say 서, and then talk about another action, a sequential action that follows. And uh, for example, 저는 어제 집에 가서 게임만 했어요. I went home yesterday and did nothing but playing video games. In that case, you can change that 서 part to 가지고. 어제 집에 가가지고 게임만 했어요. But this makes the sentence much more casual and colloquial. So that's why you keep hearing 가지고, 가지고, maybe sometimes, you know, incorrectly 가지고 to um, or 갖고 to mean the same thing as 서. So please click on the link down below to go to the actual audio lesson, a free audio lesson where you can learn about 아서, 어서, and 여서. Alright? Thank you so much for studying with TalkToMeInKorean.com and I will see you in the next one. 감사합니다. Bye! 안녕히 계세요.